शास्त्रम विनोदेन कालो गच्छति दीन ताम निंदा कलह व व्यसनेन च मूर्खणा द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस श्लोक इज दैट द पीपल हु आर वाइज and use their time for productive and constructive purposes their time is spent in literature scriptures and positive energy like laughter and humor kavyam literature shastram scriptures and vinodeen humor laughter so why is they spent their time in these areas whereas controversial gossips condemning others and creating nuisances are the areas where fools spent their time <clears throat> the very presence of you all in this hall shows that you are in the first category you're using your time for productive discussions <coughs> productive discourses instead of indulging into useless gossip which reaches you nowhere now the situation which i am observing that most of the people in this current scenario of the world where internet has made the entire world as a global village till yesterday it was television that there is so much of material for the people to get involved into with a choice of each individual that whether he wants to use that internet for productive knowledge gaining exercise or for waste of time there's so many things available my wife's favorite show on television is it's controversial so the very name shocked me i said bhai ye kya kamal hai is show ka naam hi hai and she asked me ek bar dekhi na bahut maza aata hai <laughs> naturally maza aata hoga man bhi hua ki chalo dekhe kya maza aata hai पर रिजिस्ट इसलिए किया कि शायद कहीं वाकई मजा ना आने लगे और अगर ज्यादा मजा आने लग गया तो फोकस हट जाएगा अपने प्रोडक्टिव यूज का बिकॉज वी ऑल हैव लिमिटेड आवर्स और इन्हीं लिमिटेड आवर्स में कोई व्यक्ति विवेकानंद बन जाता है कोई व्यक्ति महात्मा गांधी बन जाता है कोई व्यक्ति देश का प्रधानमंत्री बन जाता है और उन्हीं लिमिटेड आवर्स में कोई व्यक्ति कब पैदा होकर कब मर जाता है किसी को पता भी नहीं चलता सो द चॉइस इज विद ईच इंडिविजुअल एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडे 
for which I am invited is the non-statutory principles of Hindu law. <coughs> non-statutory means prior to the codified law which came in the year 1956, 55-56. So the codified law has brought things into sequence, but the principles of Hindu law in uncodified form, that means prior to 55, since ancient period, is a vast area, a huge area, like an ocean where you can dip yourself and keep finding new theories. So I shall try to limit myself as concise, as precise as possible. But it's huge. And only if I could inculcate little interest in your mind about those ancient scriptures, then you can carry forward and gain more knowledge by reading that pre-codified principles of Hindu law. But before I begin, ek mazedar baat ho gai. Jab mene kuch logon se kaha ki aaj mein thoda late court aunga kyunki mujhe Hindu law per ek speech dene jana hai to meri ek मित्र ने पूछा ये हिंदू लोग क्या है? You being aware, but the general public do not know. उन्होंने कहा ऐसा भी कोई लॉ होता है? लॉ तो लॉ है, उसमें भी हिंदू मुस्लिम है क्या? लॉ का भी धर्म होता है, तो उनके उस पूछने से मुझे रियलाइज हुआ कि कई बार एक अनकनेक्टेड फ्रॉम द फील्ड व्यक्ति इतना नॉर्मल क्वेश्चन पूछता है जो आपको झंझोर देता है क्योंकि आप उस फील्ड में उसको बहुत कॉमनली ले रहे हैं तो मुझे लगा कि हाँ भाई ये ऐसा धर्म तो नहीं होता है लॉ का पर शायद ऐसा नाम सजेस्ट कर रहा है सो मे बी द नेम इज लिटिल मिस नॉमा व्हेन वी टॉक हिंदू लॉ मुस्लिम लॉ एंड ऑल दैट क्रिश्चियन लॉ सो मे बी वी आर डूइंग इनजस्टिस बाय गिविंग अ काइंड ऑफ मिस नॉमा टू इट इन फैक्ट इट कुड हैव बीन बेटर if it is called principles of Hindus or maybe lifestyles of Hindus or the traditions of Hindus, customs of Hindus, customs of Islam, then probably it will give a better idea to a layman. Anyway, Hinduism is the most ancient civilized pattern of living. The scriptures as per historians dates back to almost 5000 years. By the current monetary system if you calculate it looks very little 5000 but when you calculate from the time angle it's very ancient so when the historians and the legal jurists tried to discover and decipher they realized that there are certain sources of the principles of Hinduism jiske aadhar par ab codified law bana hai ye jo codified law bana hai 
1955 में स्वतंत्रता के बाद दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन दो स्क्रिप्चर्स ओनली ये अदर लॉज की तरह पार्लियामेंट ने क्रिएट नहीं किया है कोई नया क्रिएशन नहीं है कोई नई ड्राफ्टमैनशिप नहीं है ये पुराने स्क्रिप्चर्स के निचोड़ को निकालकर उसको थोड़ा मॉडिफाई करके कोडिफाई किया है एंड इफ यू रीड दिस हिंदू कोड बिल हिस्ट्री दर्ज अ लॉर ऑफ पुल्स एंड पुश पुशेज फॉर दैट ऑल्सो अ लॉर्ज सेक्शन ऑफ द सोसाइटी वॉज अगेंस्ट ब्रिंगिंग द हिंदू कोड बिल and i must also inform another historically interesting factor to you that primarily before bringing the hindu code bill the intention was to bring uniform civil code but there was so much of opposition by different sections of society that it was diluted that the time is not conducive for us at that moment to bring uniform civil code so it was suspended it is unfortunate ironical that it remains suspended till date but by diluting it down a hindu code bill was introduced and as you are aware that four areas were identified <coughs> hindu marriage act hindu succession act hindu minority and guardianship act and hindu adoption and maintenance act but prior to that the sources on the basis of which these codified law came are also classified into four categories the first basis is shruti 